in my local hardware store uh, had one bottle left of Evaporust. This is John from Arkansas's favorite brew that he uses to get rid of the rust. They want nine dollars. This is a small can. I thought these things came bigger than this. It's a tiny can, but $8.99, Evaporust. I uh, went and priced uh, uh, white vinegar, gallon. They want two and a half dollars for it at uh, the Dollar General store. So I figured, well, <clears throat> I think I'll go spend the $9 and get Evaporust, and I can use that over again. According to what I've been hearing that people use this, especially John from Arkansas. We all know John from Arkansas. Anyways, um, he reuses it again. I guess you probably run it through a coffee filter and something, get the rust sediment out of it and pour it back in the bottle. I don't know. I guess so. I have to read the instructions with my magnifying glass, spend some time reading that. Um, off video, I cleaned up the um, gas tank and I got a coating of oil inside of it <clears throat> and on the outside. So I'm going to have to probably rinse that out with gas before putting that vapor rust in there. As you can plainly see, uh, we had some heavy rain last night. We didn't get the winds we thought we were going to get, so we didn't have any problems. Our power went out briefly but came back on less than five minutes. But as you can see, everything's wet and muddy here. So. Um, I haven't done anything on it since the last time you saw the video, so everything's in the shed. So I'm going to um, clean this bench off. I'll take a, one of my sticks here and clean this off a little bit and get the gas tank out here and uh, put a little bit of gas in it and shake it around and try to get the oil out of it and then find a container so that I can soak the gas tank in and I want to try to do it by just pouring the evapor rust in the tank itself. Okay, um, you might not be able to see that and it's going to rain today again so once I get this soaked I can put it into the shed. Um, there's oil in there. There's a thin coating of um, uh, penetrating oil all around inside and outside and I um, on these screws here um, I had to run a tap through the threads of this one because it was all bound up with rust on the other end and the screw wouldn't go in very good. Now it's going in nice, so I happen to have the proper size tap for that. So I got it. I don't know whether to soak this with these screws in or out because these are threaded here, these three holes. Um, and I don't know whether to soak it with this gas cap on or off. I'm going to probably do it with it off. And what I'm going to try to do, and in the, in the, I put the nuts back on the bottom here, because there's two studs that come out on the bottom, so I put the nuts back on so I don't lose anything. So, because uh, anything goes in that shed, you never see it again. If it drops on the floor, it's it's gum gum by, gum by. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to try to fill this with evapor rust and put this in a tray or something, try to, you know, get it level. Fill it right to the top, but if I put um, duct tape on this, it's probably going to be a gooey mess. But that's the only way I can seal this off. So um, maybe what I'll do is to put duct tape on, on this. Under, you know, take this off, put duct tape here because see the taper there? how that is. So um, then I won't need to put the cap on because I don't want, um, it's got the oil in there, oil is on everything. Um, I don't want to have uh, the vapor rust getting into here. There's no real problem with that. You can see it's 
there's nothing really coming off of my hands other than the oil. So I just put some, maybe I'll put a piece of duct tape over he, over this hole. So if it gets a little gummy with the adhesive after a while, maybe from the evaporust, I don't know what evaporust contains, but um, it shouldn't be harmful. But I don't want this to get gummy. So I'll probably just take these screws out and I gotta put them in a safe place. I lose them, I'm screwed. I lose my screws, I'm screwed. <laughs> Could make a song out of that, I guess. <laughs> um, and and, and um, pour the evaporust in here right to the top, like that. And let it set for a day, I guess. And then turn it over and uh, let it set on the top so it gets on the top inside. Uh, you're hearing is that little thimble. I'll just leave that in there, let that um, get cleaned off as well. So I got to read the instructions on the evaporust. I don't think you add anything to it. I think you just pour it in, but I got to find a tray. This is a one quart container. So, I mean, it looks big on, on the videos that I've seen that John uses, but maybe, you know, cameras can be deceiving, but <laughs> I thought these things came in larger containers, and if they do, they're probably $25, $30 a gallon, so <laughs> uh, this should be good enough because um, this is the only gas tank I have a problem with um, at the moment, so should be sufficient. I'm pretty sure, well, let's put it this way. I hope <laughs> this gas tank isn't more than a quart capacity. I'm estimating that it's probably a quart, but it could be a half a gallon. So if that's a half a gallon gas tank, I'm only going to be able to do half, and then I'm going to have to flip it over with the stuff and let it set on the other half. In other words, do this half when it's standing right side up and this half when it's upside down and in which case I'm going to have to submerge it into something because the stuff is going to leak out because the masking tape will not seal it and this is not going to be sealed anyways so if I have to turn it upside down uh, I'll have to find a container to put it in but anyways I'm talking too much as always it don't really look too bad in there but it, um, it is rusty. And let me see if I get my finger in there and see what it is on the top here. Yeah, it's still, there's still rust there. Yeah, it's still rusty. So we're gonna, we're gonna clean it out. I gotta rinse it out with a little gas. I don't wanna waste too much gas, but I'm gonna rinse it out. I better stop talking here because once it starts raining, I can't rinse this thing out. All right. Simple enough, I read the instructions, nothing complicated about it. Doesn't say anything about using it over again, though. So, what I'm gonna do now is I, I wipe this out, I rinsed it out with gas, and I stuck this towel in the uh, gas tank and I moved it around with a screwdriver. Now I gotta, gotta blow out the uh, gas tank. dry and it feels like it's raining so I'm not going to be able to stop the drizzle so I got to find something to put this gas tank in all right I have this five gallon bucket here which is only contained water because uh, we lose power I uh, Smells like pickles. My son gets it from his job. We give it to him. So I'm going to pour the, put this in here, and pour the evaporust in it, and see what. It what it does here. Oh. 
getting a little sloppy here. Yep, that's what I figured. It only filled it about a little over halfway. Let me, uh, level that off and put a stick underneath the other side of it here. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, the evaporust, uh, let's see. It only filled about half the tank. So, this bucket is so big that the, the stuff, the, the evaporust is gonna spread out. But hopefully, I can, when I turn this over, it will, um, cover the inside top. So I'm gonna let this set for a day. It says one to four hours on the bottle, on the bottle, but I'm gonna leave this right out here and I'm going to put the cover on because I don't want any water getting into the evaporust and thinning it out. And we'll just leave it. I'll just put a few pieces of wood on it in case it gets windy. It's not supposed to, but a little bit of breeze, I think, today. We don't want the cover blowing off. And that's it. It's not a very exciting video. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let that set because it's going to rain in today, tomorrow, and I think it's going to be good Friday. But anyways, I can't do much other than to turn that thing over. And uh, hopefully there's enough evaporust in the bottom of that large bucket to cover the other half of the tank. I don't want to have to buy another bottle of this stuff. And the, and the bucket is fairly clean, so I can I should be able to dump that back in there again. At least John from Arkansas reuses it again. What do you say, John? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you John from Arkansas, the 2017 Potato Queen. I will wear the crown for 2017, not you. Can I reuse this stuff again? The bucket has a scent, uh, a scent of pickles because it was a pickle bucket. Where my son works, uh, they give him these. Kosher dill pickle. I mean, it, it was clean, but you can't get the smell out. I don't think a little bit of pickle is going to hurt the evaporust. <laughs> After all, pickle is a vinegar too, isn't it? Uh, contains vinegar, I should say. Okay, that's it. Not a very exciting video.